You guys know the stereotypical fucking Tool fan, right? What music do you listen to? Tool. What genre is that? Tool. Nothing but Tool. It's a, it's kind of almost like I would say Fish fans, but it's like nothing but and so oh no, Fish fans are the worst. All right, fella. But, well, well, no, no, with fucking dude. So th- recently on tour is uh, all of the band of Tool besides the two main writers S- Maynard and the guitarist, right? Yeah. So the rest of the Tool band is going on tour, talking about the intricacies of the great construction of Tool songs for five hundred dollars a ticket. And if you want a special drum lesson from the drummer himself, it's only nine hundred dollars more, right? Why would anyone do that? Well, it's sold out in one day, right? Uh, so, so we gotta figure out that business model. Yeah, mm-hmm. right. So I'm telling Maynard, why don't you just shit in people's mouths for ten thousand grand a ticket? I'm yeah. sure that'll sell out. Like that. And then we can have a whole documentary of the you know meaning. That sounds great as long as no one who cares about fish is there. All right. What's your deal with fish? I don't like the I don't like the jam band guys, the people who come along with jam bands. I'm a huge Almond Brothers fan myself, but I love Almond Brothers. I I some of the people who are really into it, I cannot stand. Mm-hmm. Also, I don't like the Grateful Dead. There I said it. I don't like the Grateful Dead. I think their music is irritating and too long and it does it's just not I know I know this is unpopular and I know I've said this at on tour before where they all they play is uh mm-hmm. Grateful Dead. You know, uh, maybe just some of the brilliance and the artistry oh. and sophistication <laughs> is just uh, maybe a little too subtle for you to grasp. Um and I think that's one of my favorite things about the Almond Brothers is that you know it's like very I'd say simple like maybe even like boorish. Like there's not really a lot of depth there, you know. Oh, you went after the Almond Brother. You <laughs> could go after me, but you can't go after <laughs> Greg and Dwayne Almond. I'm just mad you didn't share your macaroni and cheese. Oh. <laughs> that, that well, be, no, I, you know, I, I think the biggest right? problem with bands like fucking Tool, Grateful Dead, even like Beatles, that shit is like so Beatles, crazed, so fucking crazed, but it's so fucking average to be that crazed. Well, the it's like Kiss. You it's know? because they were so like it's all the timing of when they you know Beatles. It's because they were the first band to do that, and it, you know the Pink Floyd even has that sort of like culty following by certain people where it's it's all they swear by and that's it. But I, I like Pink Floyd though. I love Pink Floyd. They're not they're not on I think my they list could. of things that I hate. But uh, Grateful Dead I can't stand. Fish is all right. Fish is alright. I just don't like people who yeah, play I, fish around. I, I don't. I don't mind Grateful Dead. I don't. I don't. I guess I wouldn't mind fish. Like if we were playing it right now in the background, but it's not mind blowing. You know, same with like, I'll listen to Tool maybe once, twice a year, but it's not going to make me pay nine hundred fucking dollars to go. Yeah, and then and then I thought about that one time this bitch dumped me, so I wrote Prison Sex. <laughs> and then, you know, is there a a band you would pay nine hundred dollars to see? Probably n- I don't know what I would pay nine hundred dollars to see. Living? Yeah, yeah I was gonna say it's like Jimi Hendrix, maybe. <laughs> I was gonna say there are people who are dead that I might pay that much for. Yeah, for de- for. I guess yeah. So that's kind of if a time <laughs> if a time machine is involved, that would be cool. Yeah, that might be worth it, but and a bargain at nine hundred dollars well, for well, a time well, machine. How, I mean, how it's got to be more expensive. How, than that. Yeah, how an about, open bar <laughs> and open, open bar. bar. <laughs> yeah, how about how about yeah? What would you guys pay nine hundred? That's living for can anything. We, can we do a lineup? Or does it have to be one? <laughs> Any anything for, to fucking uh, new guitar a hand job from Arnold? <laughs> even you know, it could be anything. What would you pay fucking nine hundred dollars like entertainment wise? I, I I don't know if I could name anything like that. Like that would be worth that. Hmm. Uh, Especially a band. I'd pay, just- pay nine hundred dollars to get a to watch a Russian hookers pee on the president of the United States. Ooh, there you go. I feel like somehow we could work it out being that free. <laughs> it yeah. might somehow be. We'll we just find keep out waiting. <laughs> yeah, it'll happen. Isn't his wife a Russian hooker? And I'll, now all we have no, to do is work out the P <laughs> shit, you know. <laughs> now, now we just got to find that video. It already happened, you know. Right. <laughs> all right, computer science people out there, start digging. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a call to action from... Uh, 
We already got a thousand applications filled out. Maybe like a really cool concert in like Mexico or maybe Europe with like for nine hundred dollars. Yeah, you know, like including the flight. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, Or like Tupac. I think that'd be cool. You know, to see him or hang out with him. Uh, both. <laughs> both. Yeah. Actually, you no, know, I'd rather hang out with Biggie Smalls because Tupac doesn't seem very fond of white people in a lot of his songs. Whereas, like, mm-hmm. Biggie's. How would you. <laughs> Biggie give you, like, a better. I am more friendly with white people. Uh, no. So. <laughs> no. So Tupac is all like, America. Well, America. Tupac's America. K- k- and, and, it, and, it, and his. Uh, his ma is like a huge anti white Black Panther crackhead. And then Biggie's like more like, I think he was like mob connected in the New York with with the businesses he ran. I don't know. His music's like let's smoke blunts, let's fuck bitches, whereas like Tupac is a bit more real, uh, real maybe like more militant maybe militant certainly. Um, and then you know and then he writes ghetto gospel, so who, who fucking knows? Not really? not to be an asshole, would you pay nine hundred dollars to go back in time to watch Tupac get shot? No. No, no, I don't care enough about that. I think it'd be, I don't know, it'd be kind of a cool, I mean, not exactly that event, but it'd be kind of cool to go to, like, historical events like that and see that shit. Curious I just see. I just watch Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, so that's where this is coming from. I would go back in time to see the Chicago Fire, take a picture of that shit. I, none uh, of them exist. Watching people get shot, John Lennon would be one that I would watch. Ooh. I agree. Just curiosity no way that'd be like terrifying i'd be like yoko's right over there and you got (laughs) train the gun (laughs) on the right person (laughs) Um, just that walking bowl of mac and cheese (laughs) 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 no i think that'd be like horrific i would never want (laughs) to see like that shit like like, oh yeah, let's go see the JFK that might, assassination. That, that might be what that would be. That would be another interesting thing to to watch. But like, I don't know if I could. I don't know if I could handle actually watching someone. You know, as a joke. But I don't know if I could handle actually watching someone get shot. Have you seen the video of the JFK assassination? Yes, yeah. I have. Like that's so. Th- it looks up. like that mac and cheese, man. It's oh, you know the one that really fucked me. This is uh, Zach Kempel showed me this the video of the Texas uh, politician who shoots himself at a conference. Oh yeah. Oh, that thing that was fucked up. That was real fucked up.